Hi everybody. Shannon and I today are off the Whiskey Springs Road again, heading up to Center Point Knob and connecting another section of the AT. We talked about this in our last video, connecting these trails when we can, and that's what we're doing today. Needless to say, Pennsylvania is living up to its name, Rocksylvania. This trail is really rocky. I've tripped a few times already. This is actually pretty tame compared to what it was uh, back behind me, which you might get to see as we head back down the other direction. But this is pretty rocky and you have to be careful about where you're walking. Not a lot of looking up, so if you enjoy this kind of thing, it's great. If you don't, not so great. Just to let you know, it's pretty rocky. And then there are some areas that kind of flatten out like this. And the rocks aren't so bad, you can actually look up for a few minutes. And again, Rocksylvania. For somebody like me, I have to look down at the trail constantly because I have a bad knee, so I'm always trying to protect my knee. And then it'll smooth out. And these are not terrible, but I still have to really pay attention. And right now there's so many leaves on the trail. A lot of the rocks are covered up, so you do still have to pay attention. Overall, a pretty day. It's very cold today. About 29 degrees right now. So I'm hoping for a warm up. Again, this trail is kind of interesting. It's got a little bit of everything. Up and down, a lot of up and down. There's also a lot of flat areas. I'm guessing we're on the top of a ridge right now. Some of the areas are pretty easy to walk in and some are not. So, this showed on the map about a 3.2 hike up the center knob from where we started. Center point knob. Um, and when we read the description of the trail, it sounded like it was much longer. So we really aren't sure how far it is. But anyhow, that's where we're headed. We hope to get there. And if not, well, we'll try again another day. So we came upon this campsite, pretty big. I'm not sure how far up the trail we are. But it looks like there's a lot of areas for tenting and pro probably with your hammock as well, if you find some good trees to hang from. exactly where we're sure. I think we're at the bottom between one place and uh, one mountain and Center Point Knob. I think Center Point Knob is like way the heck up there. So we will have to climb all that. But in the meantime, we have hiked down this mountain, which we're going to have to climb back up in a little bit. And there are campsites all around this creek down here. So I imagine there's a lot of 
ET hikers that utilize this area because it's a water resource as well. And there are some level areas. It looks like some fire pits here and there. Excuse me, that um, are set up. So, and then you can see down here is the creek that we're gonna have to cross to get over, to try to get up to center point now, which I'm hoping is this climb ahead of us and not another one. really pretty creek it's flowing nicely it's a really really nice water source anybody coming through this area and again this is um, just below the center point knob area anybody who trying to reference it So just above the creek that we just passed is the Alec Kennedy Shelter, and it's off this way. Okay, so we are coming up on the Alec Kennedy Shelter, and like I said, it's a tenth of a mile off the trail. It doesn't look like a very big shelter, but it, here it is. So we were saying it wrong. It's the Alex, A-L-E-X, Kennedy Shelter. And has a fire pit out front, picnic table. And then up here, way up there, I'm guessing that's the privy up there. It's nice and private back here. Peaceful and quiet. And we're going to be heading back to the AT and up to Center Point Knob. So we made it all the way up to Center Point Knob. As you can see, here's the marker. This cool rock. I think this used to be one of the halfway points on the AT, the original, but not anymore. You can see the blazes on the back to tell you to turn. This is quite the uphill climb. If you go further down the trail here, from what I understand, the trail's pretty easy from this point on. But from, I think it's Whispering Springs Road or whatever the name of that road was, to this point is a hell of a, a lot of up and down and a lot of rocks. Here's a little box. And you can sign the register I guess and then there's some little things inside there I guess if you need them I'm not going to pull them out but there's some stuff inside there looks like maybe some rope and things like that anyway clock so I think Shannon said at one time the the original plaque she thought was stolen. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's the plaque that's on there now. And again, if you're heading north, once you hit this point, I think it's pretty leveled out from for quite a ways past this point. And a lot of the up and down that you'll experience, you can finally take a breather when you hit this point. But yes. This is a strenuous area with a lot of up and down and a lot of rocks and some bouldering. So prepare yourself. So we are starting our journey back down um, and back across over to where we originally parked to come up 
two center point knob. So we have a lot of up and down ahead of us again. And this trail, the Appalachian Trail right here, connects to what is called the White Rocks Trail, which will take you to um, some bouldering and cliffs and a lot of rock climbing. We've done that trail quite a few times and we've hiked up to Center Point Knob from that direction, just never through the AT. And so this is uh, where we turn. And if you see the tree ahead of you, the two trees ahead of you with the blue blazes, that is the White Rocks Trail. You can see them up here. And that takes you across the ridge and you do some bouldering and then you go down the other side of the ridge, down this way to a parking lot. And it's a, in, you end up in a really large community neighborhood going that way. But we're going back down the AT. So we have some pretty um, steep descents. And we're going to begin those now. And stop at some point, hopefully, to get something to eat. This area is called Little Rocky Ridge, and we are heading back to the car trailhead. We've hit the area that we are just now going to be going downhill, which sounds great, except that it's rocky as heck. And it's a knee killer, so my knees have already been beat to heck today, so this should do me in pretty good. But we are heading back down, and when we get down there, I'll share with you the beginning of the trailhead which I forgot to do in the beginning of the video. Alright, see you down at the bottom. And as you can see heading down what we're going to be going through all these little boulder fields. So yeah my knees are screaming so this should be fun. Okay, um, we have reached the bottom of the trail, the trailhead. We can see the car from here. Um, again, this was a uh, one of our Appalachian Trail hikes that we were trying to link up it's at the Whiskey Whiskey Springs Road. Yes, Whiskey Springs Road on that. Well, I can't remember that, but we went north up to north up to Center Point Knob, um, which was supposedly about three 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 in and then it's supposed to be three three back but i think it's much longer um <laughs> i would guess that it's probably well with the shelter in and out well i would say it's it's more than 3.2 like the it shows in the book um much more i think so um prepare yourself for that but it's a pretty rocky trail if you decide to do this um a lot of people like these kinds of trails because there's some rock climbing that you can do and that sort of thing so if you enjoy that, then this is probably the trail for you. But um, there were some really pretty points and um, we're glad we did it. Like we said, we linked up um, one of our AT trails again today. So 
Anyhow, we appreciate you guys coming along and uh, we appreciate you wandering out yonder with us. Bye.